Welcome to the Creation Evaluation Station. On this episode, we are going to be evaluating this. It's uh, Zane's <coughs> Golden Dragon Jet. Um, but before I get into it any further, let me just let new folks know that, the, that I uh, do in-depth reviews of models and construction kits both new and old, mostly Lego, but other products as well. And I also do <clears throat> reviews and discussions of other creative works, such as movies, video games, and cartoons. So, because they are in-depth videos, they tend to be on the long side. So there are timestamps down here, and along the little red line, and also in the description that you can use to jump around and get to the parts you're most interested in or use them for bookmarks to come back at a later date and finish off. So, in regards to this set, got it. Pretty look cool looking jet from the box anyways. You know, it's got some crazy special effects added to a lot of these, but uh, I think the Lego does that just a little bit too much. That's the back. Um, <clears throat> set number 71770. It's for ages 7 up. A lot of 7s here. Um, it's 258 pieces and retails for $34.99 on the LEGO website, which is currently available, although if for some reason it's not, it should be back in stock soon since it's a brand new set. And if it was released, of course, just this month, August 1st, summer 2022. So, this looks like a really cool set. It's one of the smaller sets in the line. Um, once again, we got another golden dragon in here. Who is it? That look gold. I have to actually look coal. It's coal this time. Um, so, it's got Zane coal and a bad guy. Hmm. A little off balance, but that's okay. Anyways, let's open her up and see what's inside. Here we have the contents of the box. Here's our instruction booklet. Not too thick. We have uh, our stickers here. Not too many of those. But two, four, six, seven, eight. Not too bad. We have bag one, and bag two, bag three, but wait, there's more. It's also the bag of weapons, which is my official name for it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Let's go see what's in each one. Here we have the contents of bag one, and we also have the bag of weapons. Um, threw them in here as well. <clears throat> we got this cool technically a dragon head piece um, another um, canopy piece I really like the dragon head of that gold and the, the blue looks so cool together I don't know why um, got some other plates golden wings and other pieces and gold of course this is the dra golden dragon jet and blue pieces. We have one of the villains in here. And we have Zane in here. We have some other pieces as well. Small kiddly pieces. Two sets I put together. This is the first one with that type of weapon in it. But yeah, not too many pieces in here to get us started with. Here we have bag number two. Got a large plates and uh, fuselage pieces, wings, big wings. We've got two of these. I didn't put them together, but there they are. Uh, I got two of these, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, but they're spinner decorations from the classic spinners. We got some rails and 
scoots. I don't know what to call them, but they tracks for each other. Got a lot of long pieces in here. Some more gold stuff. We have these two printed pieces. More gold stuff, a lot of little studs. We got these swivel hinges, turntables, whatever you want to call them. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we do have a lot of hinges here. I glossed over them, but there they are. <clears throat> That's a bag too. On to the last bag, and there's not much in here, but what's in here is wow. I mean, look at these wings. Wow. <laughs> um, some of these shield parts. Nice big flag or whatever you want to call it. And we have these. And these are wow, too. I think those are brand new pieces. I don't really recognize them anywhere. From anywhere. Um, dual molded, too. So, maybe where the price is coming from. Um... Some more golden parts, more white and black parts. So there's not too much in here. Got some small pieces, clear dots, clear blue dots, and we have a uh, coal over here in the corner. His golden armor. And those were his wings we saw earlier. But yeah, that is the last bag. There's not really much in this one. Here we have the leftover parts from this set, and uh, we got some nice golden swords, which is always nice. Little golden tooth, and uh, we also got one of these, which I'm really happy to have left over. Transparent um, dot up there. And like I said, we got one of these. I think it's actually because in this set it's used as a weapon. The other sets that I've put together so far, they weren't used as weapons, so there weren't any extras kind of weird but uh and on top of that we also have all these left over we only used uh one yeah i think one piece out of this um parts pack and all the rest is doubles or extra um it, it's interesting because if you see my other video i the this um this whole set is considered one part in the instructions so you know, if it uses one of these parts, you're going to get all of these. So, that's going to be nice. We have our characters for this set here. Um, we have Golden Zane. This isn't Normal Zane, this is Golden Zane. And then we have Golden Dragon Coal. And then we have this last guy, whose name escapes me. Uh, General Vangelis. I'm not sure I pronounced that right, but uh, yeah, General Evangelist is this uh, last guy, and uh, I suppose we could bring him in just a little bit. I just wanted to make sure there was enough room for our golden dragon wings. Um, so if we fold back his wings a little bit, which, see, so uh, yeah, they all look pretty good there together. Um, he's got some crazy weapons on this guy um, now this is a spoiler warning I don't know if it's important who's behind this mask so if you don't want to see it uh, just skip to the next timestamp and just skip the figures all together because I'm going to be stripping them down so you can see their faces um, so let's go do that we've got them all stripped down from their armor and their weapons and they look pretty cool like I said I don't know if this guy's revealed face means anything, but hopefully you've already left, and I'm not talking to any of you who care. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, quite the detailed printing job on all of these. Um, I love the, 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 the dragon, uh, the golden dragon um, versions of all these guys so far. Um, this is Cole, the second one I've seen. He's got, he's got transparent arms, transparent legs, and a transparent head. And it's like they took the energy, um, uh, concept to the next level. It's really cool. 
And you also see he's got kind of like a draconic-ish, um, scalish armor, like, on his chest, which is pretty cool. That clear head. Um, Zane's over here is pretty nice with his, his golden armor. Um, I actually need to sit and compare it to those regular. They are all pretty detailed, but this definitely adds, like, a golden trim, especially with the golden arms. Um, of course, the golden mask and stuff also helps that appearance. Now looking at the back, nobody's got a second face, um, though uh, Zane's the only one who's got printing on the back of his head. Um, the bad guy doesn't, although I don't know why he couldn't. Well, he's got kind of the, yeah, he doesn't have really anything in the back of his, covering the back of his head, so that's probably why. And of course, Cole here, being a transparent head, they wouldn't put anything back there either look kind of look bad um, but that looks really good <laughs> and the printing back there so nice uh, yeah there they are all these characters look really great in this set we have everything here put together and uh, looks all good together um, we've already talked about the figures so we're going to set them aside although I do want to mention one thing Zane here can hold his sword while in the cockpit. It will close up still. You've got to kind of fold it way up above his head, but it works, um, which is good considering there's no place to put the weapon on the vehicle. So that's one nice thing. We're going to set him aside too, since we're going to look strictly at the vehicle. And while we're at it, let's look at the cockpit. You can see there is no studs inside for him to sit on. It's just this uh, little... Uh, weird couch piece thing that sits between his feet and holds them in place which you know is enough to hold them like I said in place and keeps them from falling out but makes it easy to uh, get them out at the same time and looking at the silhouette it's a very nice looking jet um, it's got uh, some uh, next little joints there that give this the uh, bent nose appearance. Um, it's got this really cool uh, dragon head piece, although there's no printing on it for eyes or anything, but it's dual molded with gold and trans blue. Um, it looks really cool. Uh, it's for a very interesting appearance. even has some teeth. Arr, 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 arr. Um, yeah, you get a very nice profile there. The top sides. Very interesting. And uh, this is what it looks like from the back. And as you can see, it's very swishable. Swish, swish. And uh, the underside. Not much to see there. Some, just some anti-studs and stuff. But, uh, wait, there's more. If we push this up, doing it opens up like that. And that looks really cool. Still quite zoomable. Um, another interesting thing to note is if you detach those mixel joints, you get just this shuttle here, which I think this looks pretty neat just on its own. You know, kind of an escape vehicle. Or maybe this is part of how this works is it actually detaches and I don't know what does that look like to you some kind of giant huge throwing star so maybe he detaches and then this thing starts spinning around and hits a target a particular target not sure but uh, definitely looks cool I don't like that it doesn't really do much although that could be a ship of its own it just needs a cockpit um, but uh yeah, this is a pretty neat set with some, an interesting gimmick to it. Um, let's uh, go ahead to the desk and give it a final eval and uh, talk about it a little bit more. Hey, welcome back to the desk here and uh, give this my final thoughts and my final evaluation. Um, overall, I really like this set. Um, this vehicle is just... This jet is just 
awesome. The gimmick in it's really cool. It's overall appearance, even if it didn't have the gimmick and it was just the ship, it would look really cool. I probably would want something more to go with it. And the gimmick that comes with it is perfect. Chef's kiss all around. Um, but overall, it looks good. I like the fact that you can close the lid down with him holding his weapon, so you can ha include that in there without having to have storage. The characters look great. And overall, yeah, I enjoyed putting this together. I uh, can see it has lots of possibilities for play. And uh, before I get into any more details, let's move into the uh, final eval. So yeah, everything looks great. This looks great. The vehicle looks great in both forms. All the, all the, yeah, all the characters look great. Um, and because of that, I gave appearance a 10. I can't argue anything against what we got here. Um, there's what, another six stickers that could be added onto here that I didn't, but it looks pretty good without them. I think the only sticker that's probably the most missing is the one that goes on this big black area here. Because that's a large area and and not having it there, it makes it look less detailed. Um, having a large, smooth area like that with nothing there. Um, there's other smaller stickers throughout. But I think that one's the worst one for missing. Um, bothered that, you know, it looks good even without the stickers. Um, it's function, well... The only really big function is the transformation. Um, I, well, I sort of talked about the cockpit and it's opening and closing and being able to use the weapon there. That's really great. And yeah, the whole transformation thing's really cool. And the fact that it's easy to separate this front and imagine something else going on, like I said in my review earlier, like uh, there, there could be another feature to this that if you use your imagination, you can make it do. Um, but yeah, that leaves a lot to be said with the function, and, uh, it also got a 10. Um, there's, uh, definitely nothing to complain about there, and there's some really cool things that it does. Uh, now on to fun. This is where I, uh. It's not a big deal. Get me wrong. Is we essentially have a really big imbalance of play between the character, or between our our characters here. We've only got one bad guy. Now I don't know much about this guy. Maybe he's really overpowered. Maybe because I mean we got a golden dragon ninja and a golden ninja with his really wicked looking vehicle um seems like he's a little bit outmatched even though he's got some really cool looking weapons so it's a little imbalanced i think if they just put avenge some warrior in here it would improve it still wouldn't be perfect it'd still be imbalanced like it, this could definitely use another a build for the bad guys just have something more but avenge some warrior would have made this much better but, you know, you're already getting three figures and really deluxe figures, so that's probably why they didn't. Trying to keep that price down. Um, which, this... Well, we'll get there. Um, where was I? Yeah, so I ended up taking a point off for that. Having imbalanced characters... I mean, you play this with other sets, you're fine. But as a standalone set by itself, it, it's lacking that. And considering there isn't a lot of smaller sets, um, which this is one of the smaller ones, but still not super cheap. Um, you want to have it self-contained if you can. Um, so because of that, I gave it a 9. Oh, yeah. Fun got a 9. Um, other than that, I mean, there's plenty of fun function you know, this jet is going to be fun to play with. It's fun to zoom around. Transforming it back and back is simple, smooth, and just beautiful. 
Um, you know, being able to pull off the front like it's some kind of escape pod or something else is kind of nice as well. Even though I don't think that's supposed to be necessarily a built-in function. But it's a possible function and, and the, the little front nose part looks cool by itself. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now as far as technique, the technique to get this to transform is really sweet and nice to build. There's really cool building um, ability in doing so. Um, so yeah, it also got a 10. Uh, technique was, is, is great here. There's some great techniques used. There's a lot of different techniques used to shape the, the, the vehicle in the certain Give it its certain appearance, the usage of parts, even this like dragon head up here, it's pretty neat. Um, some studs on side building here and there. So yeah, it, it easily got a 10. And as you can tell, it's gonna be a good high grade. So you take that, you add it all up. And yeah, I believe that's a 39. Yeah, 39 divided by four, you get a 9.75, which we then add it, um, round up and it gets a 10. Not a solid 10, but it's definitely a 10. All it needs is maybe another figure and a, a small build, and this would be perfect. Um, so yeah, overall the score is getting a 10. Now we move into price, and this is where things get a little bit rougher, because if you take the parts per piece, which let's see is 34.99 you divide that by 258 and you get um, 13 cents per piece which is three cents over standard which is not perfect but it's not the worst set um it, it's it's not the greatest but in this case, I think it's more excusable. We have lots of dual molded pieces in here, very large. We have this guy's wings. We have the dragon head piece that's up here. We have four of these blades. If you can't see and didn't watch the earlier part, there's four of these things. And they're, they're large pieces. You can see fully their size on the back. Look at that. That's, and that's dual molded. Um, so that kind of higher um, price isn't too bad considering some of these other things and it's a really great set on top of that it's a really fun set pool set um, cool um, transformation and whatnot and I, I gave it a P for a pass I mean, it could, if it wasn't such an amazing set and didn't have all these um, dual molded parts, I would probably almost give it, give it an F. But it, it got a P for pass. Um, so uh, that brings our finally vow score to a 10P. Uh, like I said, it wouldn't take much to, to really improve this. Uh, Give it a solid 10 and a change in price. I mean, I think maybe what? You said $35? I mean, if it was $10 cheaper, it would be great. It's probably about um, perfect uh, standards. $5 cheaper would be a good. Yeah, it would be much better. A five dollars would be nice. It was five dollars cheaper, but uh, other than that, it's a fairly good set, and it's a lot of fun as well. Even despite the in equality between the uh, the good guys and the bad guys here, um, I said I don't know too much about this guy. He might be a lot stronger than I know. Um, he's got some cool weapons going on, so. <sighs> You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below and uh, comment just about on anything, you know, just drop in and say hi. Uh, any uh, comments will help the channel. Um, but 
yeah and and let me know if there's anything i can change with my format here to help uh you guys out um that will greatly help my video on double fronts it will you know let me uh help improve my channel plus promote my channel through youtube so any uh any uh interaction between you know the viewers and uh, the channel and the video are helpful so of course if you're not familiar or haven't yet please subscribe and hit the notification buttons for when i get more videos out we got more to go with these um then i got oh i got lots more planned um probably gonna be quite a bit before yeah I got quite a bit planned and before we start moving back into the Wayback Machine, start doing retro um, sets. But uh, that aside, yeah. And if you like this video, of course, give it a like. Like, subscribe, you know, do all that YouTube stuff to help my channel grow. And I would greatly appreciate it. And make sure you're, you hit the notification, but also follow me on Facebook or Twitter, wherever you would like. Um, I'll probably even look into some more other ways to follow as well, um, just because YouTube's not always up to date with their, um, notifications. Uh, meanwhile, on those platforms, I notify them as soon as I get done uploading and, uh, everything's ready to go. So, uh, yeah, check them out and, uh, that's... Pretty much it for me here at the Creation Valuation Station for this episode. I thank you and wish you a good day and remind you that creativity is key.